All are in. They're off in the Dubai Duty Free Irish Derby of 2022. Eight runners over a mile and a half. Piz Badil prominent with Westover. French Clay moves up on the outside as they see out the first furlong. These are tracked a couple of lengths back by Lionel. Tuesday next on the inside of Glory Days with the final couple, Hannibal Barker and Boundless Ocean. Heading up towards the 10 furlong point and it's French Clay moving on in front of Westover bidding to go to places better than the English Derby win third. In third place is Piz Bedil with a break of a couple of lengths to Lionel and then Glory Days Tuesday next on the inside with Hannibal Barker and Boundless Ocean, the final couple. Little changes just over a mile to go and it's French Claim and Billy Lee leading by two and a half lengths to Westover and Colin Keane a couple of lengths in front of Piz Bedil and Gavin Ryan in third. Lionel is fourth, Jamie Spencer. They're the first half of the field tracked by Glory Days, Ronan Whelan on the outside of Tuesday and Ryan Moore and then Hannibal Barker, Shane Cross with the back mark of Boundless Ocean and Kevin Manning less than seven furlongs to go. They're almost at the halfway stage in the Dubai Duty Free Irish Derby. French claimed the leader. Track a couple of lengths back by Westover. In third place, Piz Bedil. And fourth is Lionel. Then Glory Days, the white cap on the outside of Tuesday. The Epsom Oaks heroine running in her fourth classic of the season. Beginning the run down from the top of the track. And it is French claim being followed by Westover. Three lengths to Piz Bedil. Lionel is ridden in fourth and Glory Days. Dragged inside the last half mile by Tuesday, then Hannibal Barker and Boundless Ocean racing towards the entrance to the straight. Three and a half furlongs to go. French Claim has ridden along, poised on the outside as Westover, who's looming for Colin Keane at the top of the straight. Less than three furlongs to go. They're being followed by Piz Bedil. Glory Days Tuesday is trying to stay on ahead of Hannibal Barker. Lionel and Boundless Ocean are furling and a half to go. And it's Westover who's gone for home. Piz Bedil on the far side of French claim. They're being followed by Tuesday and Glory Days, but out clear of the field, spread eagling them is Westover, running up towards the finish. Westover is a triumph for our champion jockey Colin Kane and Ralph Packard in the Irish Derby. Wins by a huge margin from Pespinale, French claim Tuesday, Glory Days, Boundless Ocean, Hannibal Barker, and last line of Back here at the Curra, I'm joined by Colin Keane, who's just won the derby on Westover, receiving congratulations from his family. Very special moment in the Judmont Silks. And I'm just going to try and walk and talk with him now. Colin, here he is with Jer Lyons, his longtime governor, for whom he's ridden classic winners in these colours before. You're a man in demand, Colin. We can see why. That looked oh so straightforward. Just talk me through the race. Uh, we'll walk and talk, sure, Nick. Of course uh, we will. Uh, no, it was very straightforward. And a big thank you to, to Rob Hornby, who told me about the horse this morning. He, he, couldn't have, he couldn't have kept it any more simple for me and told me exactly what to do. And no, the horse, look, he's, he's a very good horse, and he proved it today. What did Rob tell you about him? He said he's very straightforward. He said, just keep a lid on him going down. And he said, from then on, keep it very simple. First two or three, he said he's a horse that gets the trip very well and, and will get further. Uh, and not to, not to be afraid to make a bit of use from when you turn in, same as Ray, Ra, Ray said as well. Uh, and hence why we did. And no, he, he got to the line very well. He's a horse that will go a bit further. And it looked like you went a good swinging gallop as well. It didn't seem to relent. No, it was a nice even gallop the whole way. So for me, it felt like a piece of work. One horse in front of me, we picked him up when we wanted, and our lad stretched the whole way to the line. So no, he, he was very good. But you've ridden some fantastic horses. You rode the great Myla Siskin in these colours to win a classic. How does it feel to come here and, uh, and win a derby? Such a special day for racing in this country. Yeah, Master Day, and I'm, I'm very grateful for the Judman family for putting me up. Uh, they've been very good to us, me and my boss, Gerald Lyons, since, since they've joined the team. And, and thankfully, we've been lucky enough for them. But no, I, I can't thank them enough. And I just saw you with your, with your parents there. That's a, a very proud moment for them. Yeah, no, look, they, 
they've dragged me all over the country when I was young that pony racing so at least they're getting something out of it. Uh, do they do they come quite a bit? Uh, if, to these days they would. Obviously my father trains with you when he has runners but my mother would not actually come when we with the big weekends when hopefully we have a chance. Well it's lovely to see her here and congratulations from Joe Lyons as well. Thank you Nick, thank you. Well done. Thank you. And so to the trainer, Rafe Beckett, multiple classic winning trainer with an Irish derby under your belt now, Rafe. That was a performance of real dominance and emphasis, wasn't it? I see the smile broadening across your face. Quite something. I I'm not sure I'd use the, the, that vocabulary about him, but it was, uh, it was an effort uh, that I don't think we were expecting. No. So I was delighted with it. Really, really delighted with everything. Everything had really gone to plan this week. Um, he travelled over yesterday really well, settled in really well. You know, we, we, we got our, you know, it felt like we got our ducks in a row um, coming in and uh, so it proved. But I was really struck after the derby when you didn't have a lot of luck, that how thrilled you were with the, just the basic level of his performance. And again today, it, it, is, it, is he just surpassing your expectations a little bit every time? I suppose he, yeah. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. You know, was, uh, you're right. I was delighted with him at Epsom. It wasn't his fault he got, or anybody's fault that he ran into traffic. Just one of those things. And uh, then to do this today uh, in the manner he did, uh, you know, he was very impressive, wasn't he? And, and I, I was delighted with him, absolutely. And the way he races, he just seems a, a great enthusiast for the game. Is that what he always does? Yeah. His brother, funny enough, was exactly the same. Fabulous, uh, who was a completely different type, was very much the same. And, and got better with racing. And this horse, I think, will. And so we talked a little about possibly a, a King George. Is, is that still something that's rolling around in your mind? Yeah, I mean, he's, we'll have to discuss it with the family and Barry and Man and so on. And we'll, 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 it's a good discussion to have, isn't it? And uh, we'll, we'll have a think about it. You know, I think it, it you know, it, it's, a, it's an obvious race for him. It's just a question of whether we think it's the right thing for him at the time. He's not ground dependent, Nick, so that makes life a bit easier as well. Because today the ground was sort of just good, just with a little bit of dig. Yeah, but I think it. You know, I've never felt, I've never worried about ground for him. You know, never thought it was necessarily a prerequisite for him. Um, I think he'll handle slow ground as well. He's got a big round action, as you can see. So he's just very uncomplicated. When you sort of get told first that you're going to train Judmont horses, you you would imagine dream of of days like this. But you have to earn your stripes, don't you? For sure, I can tell you. You know, you say you're know, JFK. You know, you know where, where where everybody knew where they were when JFK died, Princess Diana. I can tell you exactly where I was when when uh, when they called me to tell me I was going to train train some John Mont yearlings. Uh, it's a hugely important moment for us at the time, and and it's a hugely important you know draft uh, every year that we that we that we're lucky enough to get. I I, I you know it's a there are there are. They have some, you know, obviously fantastically well-bred horses. It's a, it's a really, obviously, you know, it's an operation that stood the test of time, whatever I think, you know, and, and uh, it's a real, as I say, an honour and a joy to train for them. So I'm delighted. It's been a, a very good day for Team Beckett for, for three ra reasons, not just uh, this horse winning, the fact that you actually got here, which was subject to some doubt for some considerable time. Yeah. Um, that was, yeah, I wasn't having a good morning. Uh, I was trying to be clever and watch first lot and then get on the 10 o'clock uh, flight out of Heathrow. And uh, fortunately, my very efficient office got me on the, the noon flight out of Stansted. So thank God for that. Uh, but your wife was here in advance, so that was absolutely fine. Uh, and the third reason, of course, is that um, the man in the news, Frankie de Tori, has ridden you a, a listed race winner at, at Newmarket as well, which is pro probably going to gather more headlines than this. It so you, you're, there, you're there every week. <laughs> it might, and she looked good this afternoon, didn't she? So that's great, you know. And it was, um, he called me just before the derby and uh, in good spirits, obviously. And, um, you know, she's a filly to look forward to. She might go to the Cherry Inton now. Um, or the race formerly known as Cherry. Dutch of Cambridge. Dutch of Cambridge, sorry. Uh, she might go there now, so we'll see. But good, again, um, she looked good today, and uh, Sheikh Fahad will be pleased with, uh, with her being by Zoo Star, so that's all good. Uh, and he's not actually been available to ride some of our chance horses recently. I don't suppose you're too upset that he is going to be available a bit more often. No, <laughs> that's good. It's, it's, uh, I always enjoy putting him up, and, uh, uh, you know, it's... Um, I, I'm training for, for, for March Am because of Jamie McAlmont and uh, 
uh, uh, and and Frankie's connection with, with with Mark. So it's all good. It's wonderful. How long have you been training now? Uh, 22 years. This is my 23rd year. I know. M multiple classic winners. Um, where does today rank? I was asked that just earlier. Just behind the three from home, I suppose, you know, <laughs> just behind the three from home. And a bit in front of Mahanik in the Breeders' Cup, you'll remember well, Nick. All right, top five then, that'll look. <laughs> well, all right, thanks, Nick.